Hi everybody, um, so uh, this video is about uh, how to set up, quick set up uh, GMT hand on, well, GMT of, uh, uh, movement. I have three different movements here. Here, uh, This one is ETA 2893-2, this one is SW330-1, and this one is spring drive 9r66 if i'm not wrong i'm not but that's this that movement here uh, this two is actually uh, absolutely the same how to um, quick set up gmt hand this one is a little bit different but all of all three of them i just picked these three that i have more gmt watches but practically it's the same i have a few more uh, spring drive GMT, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, this one are two, these two are the same, and setting up uh, the time or quick setup is absolutely the same. This one is SW330 1 GMT movements from Celita. This one is ETA. Uh, 2893-2 from ETA or ETA or whatever somebody like to call it and well it doesn't matter which one I will I, I will I will quick set up because they are absolutely the same I like all of well I like all of my watches but I like this three GMT really really nice so I'll, this is how to set up quick setup GMT hand which is this one on Celita SW330-1 uh, this have two crowns but the upper crown is for the compressor bezel and this is screw in crown in out the point is, well, I'll try to do this so you can see. Um, I will wait until a uh, second hand came, or no, I, I will not wait. I will just. So there is the step one and step two. Now on step two, the second hand stop, and as you can see, I can move minute hour hand i mean i'm moving whole complete train inside and regarding to that it's all all hands except the uh, second hand are moving and if you notice gmt hand is now because i actually uh, except i'm traveling somewhere i'm putting all my gmt hands to show me 24 hours so PM, AM, whatever you want, how to call it. So now it's six o'clock, and actually GMT hand is showing me six PM. If I move further, now it's nine PM, and that is what is exactly what is showing. And as you can see, the GMT hand is moving exactly in proportion with minute and the hour hand there is no nothing no micro adjustment like some would like to call it but the point is if you are jiggle it i will, I will call it jiggle it with the, um, minute hand you will notice that gmt hand or hour hand is just have a little bit you know jiggling it but the point is when it start moving it's moving always in one direction so and when you set up you are always moving clockwise hands that's how you set or uh, that's only proper way how to set it so let's say now is well this is going to be uh, 9 a.m and i'll put it one step back I mean, I'll press it back and just one step out. So now is in the quick date and GMT mode. And now 
you can see I am now moving, uh, move, uh, rotating the crown clockwise. I am changing the date, but when I'm moving counterclockwise, I'm moving GMT hand in one hour incremental. So that means 24 steps. So let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. You see that is the point when it's, but it's just catching up because it's on the nine o'clock. So I will put it here. So now when it's my local time, 9 a.m., GMT is 12 or midday. So I will press it back, go two steps back and again. Let me put on local time 3 p.m. And GMT hand showing exactly 9 p.m. So that's it. There is no other possibility of any other micro adjustment. Let's see, put it exactly. So now it's local time is. I'm lost you <laughs> where I am, doesn't matter. It's uh, local time, let's say it's uh, 5, I think it's p.m. So, okay, just one step, counterclockwise, and again, that's it. No other possibility of micro adjustment. Or if I put it on the half hour, now it's GMT hand between full hours. So it's now it's between um, 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. I'll put it back. One step out, counterclockwise. And again, the GMT hand is moving 24 steps between hours. One out, and then I put it on nine o'clock. It's showing exactly on full hour. You see, full hour. Yeah, now I'm local time in AM. I'll put it on 6 a.m. One step back. And I'll put GMT hand on 6 a.m. And when it's midday, GMT hand showing 12 o'clock. So that is a quick setup of GMT hand on SW330-1 Celita movement. So this is Celita GMT movement. Okay. Absolutely the same is with ETA movement. This is 2893-2. So it is absolutely the same. Just I'll put it on. This is now three PM. One step back, counterclockwise. Again, it's moving twenty four steps. And this, uh, when, when you have quick step, um, your GMT hand is doesn't show always move exactly right. You see, it's just a little bit more. But the point is, let me put it 
one, three. All right, pass. Doesn't matter. Now it's four. Six. See, it's showing exactly between ours. So when your hour hand and minute hand is exactly on full hours, on full hour, GMT hand always will be on the full hour. There's just few actually in-house movements which can be moved by half hour because there is a few time zones which is half hour uh, incremental. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little bit wrong with my cough, and, and, but doesn't matter. The point is, there is no such stupidity as micro adjustment on mechanical watch in GMT hand. That is not possible because everything is connected through drives, drive frame, through gears. So it's it's just not possible. Simple as that. This is so. This is ETA movement. Both of these movements are practically absolutely the same regarding the quick setup. So, uh, spring drive is a little bit, little bit different. Uh, well, it's a different watch and it's a different moment. Uh, here, you practically first, you'll set up GMT for the time you should. So, I pulled, I did pull the crown two steps out and now I'm as you can see I'm setting up but I'm now setting up GMT time so I'm checking GMT hand and I will say that wherever I am is 6 p.m. so it's a 6 p.m. GMT time so that is where I will travel or the second time I want to check pull the crown in one step out, just one step out. And now I'm just moving, as you can see, our hand. And that's how I check actually set my time, local time. And I will say six time, six m. So I'm just changing the same, but I can put it on 12. And that is how I'm checking, uh, changing the date also. And what is, Interesting on, on this movement, on Seiko Spring Drive movement, I can move and change date in both direction. You see? And I, two rounds, and it's gonna check, change in backwards. You see? Or, without any problem. But, again, GMT hand is connected through gears and there is no micro adjustment on mechanical GMT movement. There is no such a thing. So, unfortunately you can't see it. I have one watch where it's possible to see but it's chronograph GMT spring drive so this is actually how you set up your GMT time on three different manufacturer movement but these two are the same because ETA or, or Celita is made on blueprints of ETA with few little differences but the setup se uh, options are absolutely the same and the spring drive movement uh, 9R66 is a little bit different but again all mechanical watches have connected through gears there's just no possible of such a thing as micro adjustment okie dokie I hope you like this one, this video. Um, please subscribe, 
there is somewhere down there is a button also for notification, little bell. So whenever I put another video, you will be notified. And well, that's it. Happy watch hunt all around the world. Bye.